staff then the first in faculty members of nef law college and our valued participants joining from 46 different law universities and law colleges across the country and all the hardcore members of our organizing committee apart from the supporting staff of nef law college today is a very significant day for nef law college as because as uh, in one hand, we have successfully organized that the first national virtual mood court competition that too in the fond memories of our most beloved and talented student, Shivam Sharaf. And on the other hand, uh, today is uh, Teacher's Day. Uh, although it is said that our parents are the first teacher uh, but uh, we are all teachers in the, we are all teachers of different schools of our life. The life, the life of the human community is moving, moving forward with the process of the teaching learning. This teaching learning process is to be continued without any interruption. As because uh, this teaching learning process can only bring the peace and development in the society. The, uh, this year, this uh, 2020, it has been Christian as uh, COVID-19 pandemic year, which made a global impact on various uh, sectors, particularly in education. Uh, since uh, uh, we, we should, I think that we should be very much serious about our coming generation. So they are, the teaching learning process should be, should be continued. The situation now has compelled us to adopt the, adopt a new norm. So it's a simple endeavor that we have organized national virtual mood court competition. And uh, it's, a, it's an experience, it's an experience of new norms. And uh, as because Everything is going to be uh, uncertain. Uh, we try to, I, uh, we try to uh, provide, we try to provide the students that we have organized national webinar, we have organized uh, Friday law lectures, we have organized uh, extracurricular activities apart from the online classes and examinations. But the thing is, our objective is that uh, the 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 show must go on the the student their 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 career should not be disturbed their career should not be interrupted so we, in view of all these things we have organized the, this most virtual mode code competition uh, and uh, what i have observed that this the clinical legal education uh, is a very hmm, Nowadays, earlier in our times, the clinical education, legal education didn't have any importance, but now the clinical legal education can improve our budding lawyers. Uh, definitely our today's judges, we had today five sitting judges of five different uh, high courts, four different high courts. So they have ex experience on it. And today I hope the Justice Osinta Mullah Will speak on it that our uh, about our budding lawyers, and we hope that in future we should. Uh, once uh, Justice Ansari told that to, uh, uh, the society has given us so many things, but it is our now our turn to give something to the society. So it's a simple and over from our part that if we do something for our society, if we do something for our budding lawyers, then I think the uh, the the I think our purpose will be fulfilled in future. So with this, I extend my heartiest uh, welcome to all again. And with this, I conclude my welcome speech. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. Now I would like to hand over the platform to my co-host, Ms. Nashrat Majid, to carry forward the session. Over to you, Nashrat. Thank you, Ms. Joba. Good evening, everyone present here. I'm Nashrat Majid, Assistant Professor, NEF Law College, the co-host for today's event. 
Now that all of our esteemed guests have joined us, without any further ado, let's begin with the program. First, we have among us the guest of honor, Honorable Mr. Justice I. A. Ansari, former Chief Justice of Patna High Court and Chairperson of Punjab State Human Rights Commission. I'd like to request, sir, to share a few words with us. Good evening, everyone. Notwithstanding the distance mm -hmm. which stands before us, science and technology have made it possible for us to see each other and hear each other's voice. I am sad and also happy to be present on the occasion of the first uh, national moot court competition of uh, Shivam uh, Saraf Memorial Trust. Shivam being the son of Dr. Sharaf, one of the senior uh, advocates uh, of the RTI court. I have been introduced as a retired Chief Justice mm -hmm. of Patna High Court and is currently Chairperson mm -hmm. of uh, Punjab Human Rights Commission. But let me tell you, those who may not be knowing me, that I am connected with Gauhati High Court because I was a judge of Gauhati High Court till the time mm -hmm. I left on my transfer to Patna High Court. Mm -hmm. Moot Court uh, is a recent phenomenon in India but it has been there in the Western countries, particularly in uh, England. Because even in 30s, 20s, England used to organize the bar examinations or the course of bar included uh, moot court competition. In fact, there was a system of uh, people, uh, uh, barristers being invited for to speak before, uh, and, and, and the day used to end with, uh, with dinner. That's why many used to comment that barristers is nothing but is speaking and dining. But this gives uh, a great uh, opportunity to the budding lawyers to develop their skill or to learn the skill of making submissions in the court or presenting their cases before the court. Let me tell you that uh, the degree of eloquence in India is not as high as in some of the Western countries for the simple reason that we do not have jury system, whereas they have jury system in trial. And there is, that is, and uh, uh, that is one place where a barrister's skill is, or attorney skill is tested. In the sense, because here in India, the judges decide both facts and law. In England, for instance, judge decides only the law. The facts are decided by the jury, whether the person is guilty or not guilty, so on and so forth. These factual aspects are decided by jury. Our jurors are not persons trained in law or trained in judging. They don't have the necessary skill and that is why the degree of uh, speech which they call as speech in the court is very very high and uh, one test can be that uh, conviction of the cases such as molestation of it in the rural area is higher is higher than that of the urban area. The reason is that depending on the quality of the juror, you get the you get you get the verdict. 
I would like to end by giving you an example of a case which has always remained in my mind as one of the best cases of presentation of a case. This case is famously known as the Saturn's case. Saturn was an insurance agent. There was a spinster old lady who used to stay as a paying guest in his house. She developed diarrhea, doctor treated her, but eventually she died. The doctor certified that she died of diarrhea. Later on, Saturn made a claim that this lady has bequeathed her properties in favor of Saturn's son. This led to some kind of suspicion so far as the relatives of the spinster were concerned. And uh, they lodged a protest with the uh, Scotland Yard. The Scotland Yard moved into action and they exhumed the dead body. And when it was examined, it was found that uh, she had uh, arsenic. And the opinion, medical opinion was that she had died by, because of administration of arsenic. Arsenic, I may tell you or you may be knowing already, is a substance which is not destroyed. It always remains. So it remains in the pores, even if the end preserves the body. Now, the scientists which appeared in the trial court, which is known as the uh, Crown Court, they said that they had performed Mars test for the purpose of uh, uh, determining whether the woman had been uh, administered uh, arsenic. And it, the test gave a positive. Now the test for uh, arsenic, the students of uh, chemistry will know, is something that uh, a, any compound, if it has uh, arsenic, if it is added to a particular kind of mixture, there is a soothing layer if and that uh, soothing layer is just like the uh, kajal as we use in our eyes and that is the test so the lord marshal hall who was representing the yes. male defendant the in england it is called defendant un un unlike uh, uh, india where we call the uh, defendant only in the suits so the male defendant he was a Lord Edward Marshall Hall was appearing for male defendant and he said that uh, Mars test is a qualitative test. It's not a quantitative test. So it can tell us that in a particular substance or in a particular liquid form, there is presence of arsenic, but it will not be able to tell us how much arsenic was there. And because mere consumption of arsenic does not lead to death, it has to be proved by the prosecution that the quantity of arsenic administered to the spinster was as much high as would have led to death in the natural circumstances. Now the case became so sensual and uh, uh, famous that the Attorney General of England was appearing in the trial court, which was the Crown's court. So there the system is that when you give the defense, gives the evidence, defense leads the argument. So when Lord Edward Marshall Hall was presenting his argument, he told the jurors that I'm very happy that the Crown, that is the prosecution, has been represented in the trial court by none other than the Chief uh, Attorney General of England because nobody could have presented the case as well as he has done. But despite the presentation of the case of the Crown by the Attorney General, if you have still a lingering doubt in your mind that the accused was not guilty, you should have no hesitation in acquitting the accused because nobody could have presented the case better than the Attorney General. And you will be surprised when the Attorney General was making the submission, he said, I am very happy that the male defendant 
because he was the main accused has been represented in this case by one of the topmost barristers on the criminal side namely lord edward marshall hall because you have already seen him and his persuasive power his skill of cross examination and despite that if you think that uh, the man is guilty you should not have second thought because nobody could have defended the case of the defendant better than lord edward marshall hall so this is an example where you find the lawyers of each side was presenting the other uh, praising the other but at the same time showing the weakness of the case and the lord edward marshall hall ended his speech by saying that let jury to the jurors ladies and gentlemen you are holding the life of this man in your hands today by an error of judgment if you happen to give a verdict of guilty and tomorrow if you find that you you have you have gone wrong you will not be able to forgive yourself his speech was so passionate that one as i have already told the degree of eloquence is very high in the western countries one of the jurors fainted in the court itself she could not make up her mind whether the accused was or was not guilty anyway the accused was convicted and just for your interest i can tell you that he made his appeal he went uh, he made mercy petition to the king everything failed and he was executed his wife moved to america and uh, there about 15 years later she happened to meet a dying declaration when she was lying in hospital as a result of an vehicular accident and uh, she said that that uh, my husband was absolutely on innocent and it was i and my daughter who had killed this in spinster then there was a movement in england that in sadden's case he was executed not because prosecution proved the case against him but because he could not prove his innocence and there inadvertently in england we have introduced the system of uh, criminal justice of france so and thereafter in england they have been very very strictly adhering to the principle of uh, a proof of guilt beyond reasonable doubt i have uh, that taken quite a long time my colleagues are also there uh, some of whom i have not met since the time they have met uh, they have become judges of the high court i must come with take this opportunity to congratulate them namely on mr justice uh, am dujabua uh, he was one of my favorite lawyers i would say i have heard the name of mr jn shaiwala who was an extremely good human being apart from being a fine advocate as far as mr akurva sharma is concerned he is helpful to everyone i don't think anybody can uh, be better described as a man of the masses than uh, mr um, borwa uh, last but not the least i would uh, thank the prince Uh, of the local in in a law college and also the chairman of uh, subham sham memorial trust uh, first national book corp virtual competition uh, dr bhuvan bhuva and with the thanks to all of you for giving me this opportunity to speak i can to thank you thank you so much sir Now I'd like to call upon Honorable Mr. Justice B. P. Kotoki, former Judge Guwahati High Court and Chairman State Police Accountability Commission, to share a few words with us. <coughs> Sir, kindly unmute yourself. Thank you. Yeah. 
good evening, Honorable Mr. Justice Ansari, Honorable Mr. Justice Bujar Borwa, my dear advocate friends, Mr. Sahiwala, senior advocate, Mr. Ashok Sarap, senior advocate, Mr. Upurva Sarma, senior advocate, who has, uh, Justice Ansari has rightly described Mr. Sarma as the masses, person of the masses. He, he helps a lot, everybody. Everybody uh, wants any help from him, he does it. Mr. Parikh, Mr. Rai, Mr. Rao, who are also joining us today in this military session. The participants of the National Moot Court competition, the teaching and non-teaching staff, and over and above that uh, Mr. Jakir Hussein, the director of NEF Law College. And on the top of that, Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Borwa. I must mention is a special mention must be made to Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Borwa because I have found he is the person who has organized a lots of seminars, lots of lectures through virtual media during these day, very difficult days. As you all know, that because of the COVID-19, pandemic of COVID-19, regular classes are not held. The only way out was to, to impart education to the students and also to keep the students busy is the virtual media. In that respect, Dr. Borua and also the teaching and non-teaching staff of the NEF Law College have done a lot because they have, as I said, they have organized the seminars and the law lectures to virtual media. Organizing a moot court competition that to a nation in the national level is a very important thing. More particularly, it is a very difficult thing to organize such moot court competition through virtual media. Dr. Burwa and the staff and uh, of the NEF Law College have done really a great job in that respect. Why moot court is necessary? During our days when we were students, we didn't find any moot court. I have not heard about it, in fact, is a moot court in law colleges when uh, during 19, uh, I mean, say 73 to 77, 76, 77. It is very much necessary. I think it is very much necessary to make the budding lawyers know how the court function, how to prepare a case, how to present a case, how to make the arguments, and what is to be told to the court and what is not. The most important thing to become a very good advocate is, to my mind, to develop the art of listening. If you do not have that art of listening, if you do not develop that art of listening, to my mind, you cannot be a successful lawyer. Art of listening means you have to listen very carefully what the other side argues because you have to counter that argument. And on the top of that, you, have, you must develop the art of listening what the honorable judges or the magistrates say, because you have to answer those queries. If you do not answer and avoid those queries, then I'm afraid that you may not get an order in your favor. In your favor means I do not mean that in favor of the learned council who is representing a party. That means, who will suffer? It is your party who has engaged you and who has reposed faith on you that he is the person who can present my case properly before the court. So therefore, art of listening is a very, developing the art of listening is a very important aspect of a good advocacy. You must have seen the participants, the students. You 
must have seen the TV debates. Nowadays, TV debates. You must have seen the national TVs. In those national TVs, in the name of debating, what is going on? You must have seen that. You have noticed. They do not listen to each other. I don't know. Maybe they are paid to speak like that only. That is, please, I request you not. Please do not develop that bad quality of not listening to others. If you develop that by seeing that uh, by seeing the TV debating, then you are doomed. So therefore, please do not do that. And at the last. I, con I again congratulate the NEF Law College, more particularly Principal Borua and the Director Zakir Hussein, and also teaching and non ceasing staff for organizing this first Sivam Saraf All India Moot Court competition. Sivam Saraf, as you, we all know, is a very brilliant student. He comes from a very renowned family of Northeastern region. His son of Asuk Sara and the grandson of a great judge, late Dr. B.P. Sara. We lost him at a very early stage. Uh, I congratulate the, all the participants of the first Sivam Sara Moot Court competition and also Congress led the winners of this competition and pray to the Almighty to grant the eternal peace to the soul of Sivam Sara. Before parting, I thank the management of NEF Law College for giving me this opportunity of participating in this valedictory function. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Next, I'd like to request Honorable Mr. Justice A.M. Bujar Borwa, sitting judge of the Gomati High Court, to speak a few words with us. A very good evening to all of you. Young Shivam Saraf, he was very close to me. I knew him as a young boy. He was very energetic. Whatever he purposes to do, he used to be very serious with it. And you ensure that it is done with perfection. The moot court competition that we had was again of very high level. The participants, the, their participation, it was of a, one of the highest order. It's befitting that this uh, Moot Court competition is in the name of uh, Shivam Saraf. The level of the competition is a reflection of what uh, Shivam Saraf was and what he aspired for. It's great to hear Justice Ansari and Justice Kotaki after a long time. Whenever Justice Ansari speaks, we always expect that a concept of law in great detail will be invited. And today was no different. We had the occasion of knowing in detail about the Saddles case, which possibly many of us did not know about it. Justice Kotaki had expressed a very relevant aspect of the legal profession. You should have the patience to hear without hearing what the other side is trying to project about. You can never give an effective reply to that. If you cannot give an effective reply, your job will not be done. This, I again say in the context of today's competition, which I had the privilege of witnessing as a judge. Principal Varua had already circumscribed my brief that I'm required to speak on the competition that had taken place today. I repeat, it was of the highest order. 
the knowledge of law of the participants was very good. It was of the one of the highest order. The application of the legal principles made by the participation by the different participants was exactly fitting to what the facts of the case was. And it was a great way to present the respective cases. I was particularly looking with interest as to what the second team is going to reply to what the first team the what the first team had they tried to present as their case the first team the topic was on adoption and guardianship in order to justify as to why the adoption and the guardianship it was a peculiar facts that's why using the expression adoption and guardianship because both normally they don't go together hand in hand the main trust was that the maternal grandparents of the child concerned, they are financially very well off. The young adopted child was provided with all the luxuries in his life. He was uh, admitted to a reputed school. The grandparents Paternal grandparents, that is, they are busy people. They did not have time to attend to the child during the weekdays because their work place was about 300 kilometers away. And so they had to reside at somewhere near their place of work. So they had engaged some very good caretakers to take care of the child for the weekdays and in the weekend days to come over and stay with him. The other side had countered it very well. That the paternal care grandparents may not be financially that well off, but it is not that they were not financially well off at all, could not have at all taken care of the child. But what was trying to be projected that the paternal grandparents had the compassion and the uh, that to take uh, care of the uh, requirements of the uh, love and affection that the child needs, which is also an equally important element of having an adoption or being a guardian of a minor child. The whole thing was presented in such nice, great detail that it was uh, really interesting to hear about the sides. The manner in which the two sides presented was of such high level, and I am told that most of the reputed law colleges of the country had participated in this competition. If the two finalists are of this level, I can well understand that the, even the other participants who had lost out in the earlier rounds were also, if not equally, was, was good enough. The prevalence of the mood code concept, which is, as uh, the speakers before me had said, it's a new concept. Earlier, it was not there. In fact, when I was a law student, I, it was not there. Now, to a much greater part of my life, I have not even heard of a mood code, what it was. First time I heard the word mood code, I used to ask somebody, what exactly is this uh, mood code? It's a great concept to be developed among the students because they are pre prepared in a practical manner as to how they will fare themselves in future when they actually go into the legal profession. And I would uh, wish the organizers that this competition will be held every year and it will be continued and its standard of presentation of the respective parties will go even higher. The 
topic that was chosen by the organizers for this, uh, uh, the factual presentation that was chosen by the organizers uh, for presenting the respective cases by the two parties was also very good. It was a really a complicated legal situation that was created, which must have required some lot of study and lot of research on the part of the participants to answer these questions. Especially interesting was that the mother of the child who got remarried had refused to take the child with her on being remarried. So it was a question whether the child was to some extent abandoned by the mother or not. That question was very interestingly answered by both the parties. The other aspect was the Hindu Adoption Act was basically relied upon to justify the adoption of the child given by the mother to her parents. The other side, that is the grandparents from the paternal side, was insisting upon the love and affection element that the child would be missing in the present arrangement was also required to have a legal basis for that argument to be presented. And when a question was put that if the adoption was made on the basis of the Hindu Adoption Act and the mother had otherwise legally given in adoption of the child to her parents who thereafter became the adopted parents of the child, where is the element of this welfare of the child that comes in in between. A very smart answer was given that for the purpose of adoption, not only the Hindu Adoption Act is applicable, it has to be conjointly read with the Juvenile Justice Act, where this particular provision is available that in an adoption also of a minor child, Hindu child, the element of uh, the Oh, 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 oh. the element of the, the welfare of the child is also of paramount importance. With these few words, I conclude my presentation and I congratulate the organizers once again for the wonderful competition that was organized and also congratulate the, all the participants, two of whom I had the privilege of seeing today being the finalists for their very high standard of presentation that they had made. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. That was in fact a very extensive and very insightful review of the entire competition. Now we move to, uh, I'd like to call upon Mr. Apurva Kumar Sharma, Senior Advocate, Guwahati High Court and Chairman of Executive Committee, Bar Council of India to share a few words with us. Good evening, all. Hello, Justice Ayan Chari, former Chief Justice Patna High Court, presently Chair Person of the National Court Judge. Initially, he was the judge of the Guwahati High Court. Everybody knows him. Hello, Justice Hilpi Kataki, former judge of the Guwahati High Court, presently Chair Person, Police Accountancy Commission of Assam. Hello, Justice A.M. Bujar Borua, judge. I can see now dynamic judge of the Guwahati High Court. After just now, after hearing him, uh, everybody has learned that, that subject because I was, I was having that subject in, for last, last week when I got the program. My, our friend, our Gian Chaiwala, former chairman, Bar Council of Assam Nagaland, and chairman designate again, last, last time he had again elected. Dr. Ashok Sara, my friend, Mr. Jakir Hussain, the director of any of law college. Lastly, Professor Ruban Borua, principal of the uh, any of college, uh, the participant, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a special day, I always say that today is Asia's day, but this day we are remembering Mr. Shivam Saraf. I thought he was close to me, I, I, I shouldn't say his name in the residence of Dadu, who expired on 9th of March. It was on a very tragic incident. 
today we we are remembering him because i must thank the organizers for organizing this gom sarap memorial first national mood court competition that is virtual comp competition mood court is everywhere there but this virtual mood court is very tough to organize mr justice katogi has already explained the about the mood court first of all i must congratulate at the outset i would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to the winners and the participants of this virtual mood court competition i believe that though this unique opportunity everyone involved that is the participants the organizers as well as the judges have gotten a remarkable experience of conducting and participating in a full fledged mood court competitions over the internet and with the aid of audio visual techn technology in the year 2013 it was claimed by professor richard saskin the it Hello, Asra. Hello, yes, sir. Is it, is it going on smoothly properly? Um, I think so. Got disconnected, M Mr. Apurva Kumar Sharma. I guess he got disconnected because I cannot see. Message came morning. just now. Uh, yes, Mr. Sir. Apurva Sharma had left a meeting. Just now, a message came. Okay. On the okay. So uh, maybe he maybe he has got disconnected. Okay. So uh, shall we continue with the program? Yes. Uh, uh, Nashit, uh, yeah. Nashit, you continue. Wait. I can call him up and assist him again. Okay. If, so, uh, sir, uh, allow. So, okay. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties. We shall continue with the program now. Now, I'd like to request Mr. G. N. Shahewala, Senior Advocate, Guwahati High Court, and former Chairman of Bar Council of Assam, Nagaland, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, and Sikkim, to share a few words with us. Good evening to everybody. Honorable mm -hmm. Justice Ansari, Chief Guest of the <laughs> this healthy function. Honorable Justice Kotaki, former Judge of the Guwahati High Court. Honorable Justice Bujar Burwa, sitting Judge of the Guwahati High Court. My friend, Dr. Asuk Sarap, Dr. Apurva uh, Kumar Sarma, the Jaki Hussain, the Director of the College. Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Borua, the principal of the college, as well as chairman of the organizing committee, other teaching and non teaching members, other dignitaries present in this virtual validity function, the participants, and others present. I am indeed very happy to be part of this validity function amongst all of you. of Sivam Saraf Memorial First National Virtual Book Court Competition 2020, which is held by NEF Law College, Guwahati. I thank Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Gurwa, the principal of the college, as well as the chairman of the organizing committee in inviting me to this military function. I congratulate the organizers for using this time of pandemic as an opportunity with utmost positivity and productivity, mm -hmm. where about 45 teams from all over India joined. I congratulate all the winner's teams as well as other participants in this mood court competition as participation is very important and they have gathered the courage to join this Mood court competition. As Justice Kotagi has said earlier, virtually there was no 
good court competition and in our time we did not get such opportunity nowadays the good court competition good court has emerged as a indispensable part of the legal education in our time it was not there and we did not get the opportunity to know about the court procedure but nowadays this moot court competition as well as attendance in the courts and other things are there by which the students can know how the proceedings are being conducted in the courts shivam sarap was known to me from very childhood as i am very friendly with dr asof sarap as well as his father also and he always call me his uncle i am very hard heart as he died due to an accident i pray god to grant eternal peace to the departed soul by this song. in fact in guwahati i from my sg law plus law firm started this moot court competition among the inter college then inter state also from 2000 two onwards and in fact for a few years i held the mutkot competition and these are very successful this time also i came to know from some of the judges of the competition that teams were very good and they are good very nicely i am very happy that such bright students have taken part in this competition in fact we are totally unknown to the court procedure during this period, uh, during our time and uh, nowadays the students are getting much benefit from attending the moot court and other uh, things the student friends the law degree will entitle you to get enrollment as an advocate from the bar council but to be successful in the profession you have to work hard success is never by chance choice but it is always by choice and faith is the force that sets you free to succeed three things to success passion grit and support friends in future as a lawyer you have an obligation to the society and i request all the participants that you should not forget the sin with these few words i would like to convey my best wishes to all the participants for their bright future and also the organizers of this competition thank you all thank you so much sir that was really insightful Now I'd like to again request Mr. Apurva Kumar Sharma, Senior Advocate, Guwahati High Court, Chairman of Executive Committee, Committee Bar Council of India, to share a few words. I'm so sorry, sir, you got cut off in between. There was some technical yeah, I think, difficulties. I think, but there are problem. But I can see what what happened immediately. So that I have started again because Lord Chaskin, that former Chief Justice, he has claimed that 2013. Now I must. <laughs> that this quick adoption of technology and transition of the indian courts has been possibly main due to the ground work laid down during the tenure of justice mb lukur who was the head of the e committee of the supreme court of india and that justice lukur couldn't attend because of his illness today few days before i contact him always he is happy whenever he will we'll invite him he'll come to assam last time or last year also Last this year also he has attended one usual function at Administrative Staff College where Justice Kathak is also there. That was under the Grand Studio Nilima. It is my belief that through our engagement in this competition over the course of the last few, uh, past three days, you have gained fresh insights on how to improve upon your research, drafting, and impersonal skills. All of which would help you fine tune. your arguments and provide able representation to your clients in the future whether by by standing inside a courtroom or by sitting in front of a screen in a virtual court i'd like to thanks again the organizers 
Now we will meet the opportunity to attend this function. I say beautiful function. Every year this should be held. And before starting the meeting, some of the colleagues they have mentioned that next time it will start from Bombay. Welcome. So we will be there again. So I again, once again, thanks you, thanks the organizers for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now I'd like to hand it over to Ms. Jaba R. Thakur, the host of this event, to continue with the program. Thank you, Nashrat. Jaba, Jaba. Now. Hello, Jaba, Jaba. Hello, yes, Jaba. Sir? Uh, uh, Honourable yes, Justice, Honourable Justice, Honourable Justice uh, Anshari, she wants to uh, speak. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, sir, you've muted yourself, sir. Yes. So, yeah, so you please. just muted yourself, so no, can no, you uh, please repeat? Honorable Justice, actually, Justice Ansari wants to speak a few lines. Sure, sir. More, sure, sir. More. Oh, yeah, you can, please. Sure, sir. Our honor, sir. Uh, I would like to call upon Justice Ansari, sir, please. Uh, am I audible? Uh, yes, sir. Are you there, sir? Yes, sir. Am I, am so, you're audible, audible, sir. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, audible. sir. So, you are very much audible. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I... Pardon me I, for my inadvert, inadvertent act of discourtesy in the sense that uh, I omitted to mention uh, just P.P. Kotoge's name while uh, addressing others. And uh, looking at him, I got frightened. <laughs> I, I, I apologize to him. No, no, I'm always there in your mind. I know that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the second, and no less important, uh, is uh, to congratulate the um, yes. management of uh, Anya Law College and the participants, particularly those who have won. But uh, we must also appreciate the efforts of those who have not been able to make it because without them there could have been no competition. Dr. Zakir Ustan is also there. I am sorry I did not hear his name earlier. And uh, I, will... I express my thanks to him also. Thanks a lot. That's all. Thank you so much, sir. Now we have come to the most awaited limb of today's session, the results of the Shivam Sarap Memorial Virtual National Group Board Competition 2020. I would like to request our director, Dr. Zakir Hussain, sir, to kindly announce the results of the Moot Board Competition. Over to you, sir. Director, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you're audible. Uh, good evening and namaskar. Honorable Justice I. Ansari, Chief Justice of Patna High Court and Chairperson Punjab Human Rights Commission. Honorable Justice B.P. Kotoki, Honorable Jas, Retired Guwahati High Court. Justice A.M. Bujabarwa, Sitting Jas Guwahati High Court. Mr. Apurbo Kumar Sharma, Senior Advocate, Guwahati High Court and Chairman Executive Committee, Bar Council of India. <coughs> Mr. G.N. Sahewala, Senior Advocate, Guwahati High Court and former Chairman of Bar Council of Northeast. Dr. Ashur Sharof and his family members, budding lawyers in making. And Team NEF, under the leadership of Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Guru. First of all, before announcing the result, I would like to express my sincere gratitude and thanks to all the gentlemen who acted as the judges in the Moot Court competition held in the last three days, from 3rd to 5th, uh, 5th, of the, uh, 5th and uh, I once again express my sincere gratitude to them for their kind cooperation. Before announcing the result, I would like to uh, tell you that altogether 46 teams 
throughout the state of, uh, throughout the country from all the states has participated in this institution. Uh, out of that, almost eight law universities has participated in this competition. And the result of this competition is, I'd like to read out the result. The best memorial award goes to team number NLC 137, VIT Chennai. The award of best researcher goes to Vedant Sharma of National Law University, Odisha. The best speaker, we have chosen three best speaker. One is Ms. Ruti of National Law University and Judicial Academy, Assam. K. Anjana Kameswari, G.D. Goenka University. And Tasneem Hussain of BML Munjal University, Haryana. The runners of team is, team number is NLC 132, that is BML Munjal University, mm -hmm. Haryana. And the most, and the last, but last name is winner team. The winner team is National Law University and Judicial Academy Assam. Team number is NLC 101. Thank you. Over to Jawa. Thank you so much, sir. And congratulations to all the winners and all the participants too. Now I would like to request Mr. Manish Kumar Das, Advocate Gohati High Court, who judge won the rounds of the competition to kindly share his views. Over to you, sir. Mr. Manish Kumar Das, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Thank you. A very good evening to one and all. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for inviting me to be a judge at Shivam Sharaf Memorial First National Virtual Mood Court Competition 2020. And thereby, NEF Law College had given me the opportunity to experience a very little event, which is actually is going to be embodied forever in the pages of history of the legal academics in this country. I really enjoyed the experience and I was amazed by the amount of quality of work and effort that all the participants had actually put into this competition. Further, the professionalism in their approach and their presentation towards this moot court would actually, had actually lifted up the spirit of this moot court to a very different standard. And I would also like to congratulate all the, all the organized <laughs> members and NAF Law College for conduct, conducting such an extraordinary event at such a short time and with such limited resources at, at this current point of time. And finally, I would like to congratulate the winners and also all the participants who had given a lot of effort to this event and has made it a grand success. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I would also like to request Mr. Dipanjan Chakravarti, Advocate Guwahati High Court, who also judged one of the rounds of the competition to kindly share his views. So are you there, Mr. Jipandan Chakravarti? Yes, yes uh, good evening, yes. everyone. Uh, first of all, my regards to all the dignitaries present out here. In fact, uh, uh, it's a nostalgic feeling right now. I am in the middle of uh, uh, my guru, Mr. Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Bhavasar, uh, under whose guidance and supervision I uh, started uh, in calculating the, uh, the, the law, the intricacies of law back in 2003. Sometimes in 2006, when I was in the final year, SG Law Plus came to University Law College uh, under the guidance of uh, Honorable uh, Mr. G. N. Savala, sir. And there one was, I, I was one of the mooters. I was uh, a participant then, and uh, uh, somehow, luckily, uh, by the grace of God and by the guidance of uh, my teachers, I could make some mark for myself. Thereafter, uh, I stepped into the legal profession, where right now I have uh, with me uh, Honorable Mr. Justice Ansar, the Honorable Mr. Justice Kortuki, uh, sir. Uh, I, my inception to the legal profession was under their guidance. And I was so lucky to be under their guidance uh, at the initial stage of my career. I have uh, uh, put up over 14 years of practice in the uh, legal profession by now, I'm but okay, it has since the other day. Thank you. So uh, uh, 
thank you everyone and uh, it's it's uh, really a privilege to be in the middle of everyone right now yes uh, i thank uh, dr bhuvan uh, chandra barwa sir uh, to uh, think of me as one of the judges uh, to judge uh, one of the quarter finals and it was uh, very very heartening to see the participants uh, and uh, the standard that they have raised in fact uh, during our days uh, uh, I'm, i'm very sorry to say that from uh, my side perhaps the standard was not that high that down the line uh, in the next 14 years the standard that has been raised uh, by the participants and uh, by the law students and uh, i really see very bright future for them uh, in the time ahead i uh, congratulate uh, the winners uh, my commiserations uh, for those who haven't made it but then i'm sure they also have their uh, future very very bright ahead uh i'll not take much time uh, there are other things ahead uh, i thank uh, everyone for uh, having me in between thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much sir now i would like to request one of the members of the winning team to kindly come up and share their experience from the winning team anybody there kindly please indeed ma'am uh, if i'm audible yes. Yes, yes, you're audible. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. At the very instant, yes. good evening to Honorable Justice Retired Justice I. Ansari, Justice B. P. Kotoki, sir, Justice A. M. Bhujal Borwa, and uh, respected Okulgo Kumar Sharma, sir, respected G. N. Sahewala, senior advocate, sir, uh, and our gratitude to Zakir Hussain, sir, and especially Principal, sir, Bo Principal Borwa, sir. Uh, at the first i would like to introduce ourselves uh, i am tohit dashta along with my teammates suti divedi and our researcher rashmi sina we three of us are fourth year students at national law university and judicial academy assam and uh, at present we are in fourth year it was uh, on behalf of me on behalf of the team uh, also at the very first instance we would like to give our deepest condolences for mr for uh, shivam we we deeply feel his loss also uh, it was a journey of around 25 to 30 days preparing the entire memorial and uh, editing editing all the things keeping the arguments and framing the issues and then we submit the memorial and then we come to the oral arguments also uh, to for me it was a very personal experience uh, to represent uh, to present a case before honorable justice am bujor bolwa because i right when and uh, during from our first year itself when we used to go for internship starting from one court to another in guwahati high court itself we used to go and see the excellence uh, of uh, the sir's court room and today it was a very fortunate and a privileged moment for me to present a case before justice uh, am bolwa bujor bolwa sir also for our team on behalf of our team would like to specifically thank the organizing committee of any of law college uh, in my experience of around 8 to 9 moves all through my career as a law student we have not seen yet such a move which can be organized in such, such efficiency with such time punctuality where we got all the mails where we got all the all the, all the respected materials on time and also the entire session started on the due and on punctual uh, on a punctual note does our heartfelt thanks to the organizing committee to the students to the volunteers and to all the people who put who gave us this platform and this and thus we feel privileged uh, with this i would like to shortly th thank everybody and and my gratitude to the entire panel thank you so much for thank you so much for sharing your experience now i would like to request ms shruti hazarika convener and assistant professor nef law college to propose the vote of thanks over to you shruti very good evening honorable judges distinguished guests and to one and all present here it's with great pride that i shruti hazarika convener of this competition would like to take this opportunity to share the amazing experience we as the moot court organizing team had since the past one month it goes without saying that there is no success there is no shortcut to success and indeed there wasn't any for us to make this competition a success virtually in the times of a pandemic we got an overwhelming response from 46 esteemed and reputed college teams that registered from all over the country for the competition out of which we selected the best 22 teams on the basis of the best memorials to participate for this competition it was a cutthroat competition of 3 days with the first day being the preliminary round with 22 teams competing one another the second day that is the 4th of september 
took place with the quarter and semi-final rounds where we had advocates from the Supreme Court as well as various high courts as judges. The final round took place today morning with the presence of the sitting judges from various high courts of the country. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our guests of honor for taking out the time from their busy schedule and gracing us with their presence. My sincere thanks to Honorable Retired Chief Justice I.A. Ansari, Honorable Retired Justice B.P. Kotoki, Mr. Apurva Kumar Sharma, Mr. Jian Shahiwala for, their sh for sharing their vast experience and knowledge with us. It gives me immense pleasure to thank our final round judges, Justice Kalyan Surana, Justice Ujjal Bhuya, Justice Piyush Agarwal, Justice Rajesh Pindal, Justice A.M. Bujar Borwa. It gives me great honor to thank all the judges of the preliminary, quarterfinal and semi-final rounds of the competition, we are truly grateful. I offer my sincere gratitude to the Chief Petron, Dr. Jazakir Hussain, and to our Chairman, Dr. Bhuvan Chandra Borua, who has always led from the front and turned challenges into opportunities. I extend a very special thanks to Senior Advocate Ashok Sara for gracing us with his presence today. I would like to thank the co-persons, Mrs. Farhana Ahmed and Dr. Korobi, Bormon for their constant motivation and guidance. A goal without a plan is just a wish. This competition would have remained a dream without the relentless efforts and planning of our chief convener, Mrs. Bonani Mohanta, and the organizing team of conveners, namely Satavisa Bora, Razina Ahmed, Rashmi Rekha Fukon, and Premika Lumpue. I would also like to thank Dr. Kasturi Bora, academic coordinator, and Mrs. Bhashwati Bora, program coordinator for their immense support. Additionally, I would also like to thank our faculty supervisors, Ms. Abhilekha Kakoti, Jawar Ratna Thakur, Ms. Sudarshna Roy, Mafuja Saikya, and Ms. Joita Rajkhor. As they say, teamwork is what makes the dream work. I offer my sincere appreciation to our team of student coordinators and hosts for the courtrooms. A special mention to Sunidhi Sharma, for her untiring hard work for the past one month in helping us to make this competition a success. I would also like to thank the volunteers from various committees, social media and advertising committees, registration committee, memorial committee, technical committee, rules and regulations committee, and e-certificate committee for sincerely performing their responsibilities. A big thank you to our technician, Mr. Kamal Rai. Last but not the least, a big thank you to all the participants for their active participation from different parts of the country. We look forward to your participation next year with the same enthusiasm and zeal. As all good things must come to an end, I would like to conclude the Shivam Saraf first national virtual moot court competition. Hope to see you all in the near future. Thank you. With due permission of your lordships and honorable and distinguished guests, I would like to inform that the meeting has concluded I would like to end the session now.